Imagine if you could build a device in Ableton that creates this sort of tapestry of notes. It kind of lets you explore a scale or a harmonic sound, a harmonic setup that you've never used before. And this is really a generative device that you can, you can sample endlessly from this thing. You can make evolving tracks, do all kinds of cool stuff. I think you'll be really surprised by how easy it is to actually do this. Let's get into it. Okay, so let's first just start with a good setup. So I'm going to highlight an area, Control shift m or Command. That's going to create a MIDI clip. And then like previous videos, we've talked about scale mode. You know, you have this drop down menu where you have a lot of different options. And in some of my previous videos, I've talked about how pentatonic scales and just different scales in general can give you really cool results, especially when you're generating sound through a MIDI device. So in this case, I'm going to go down to this Kamoi scale. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing it right, but it's a Japanese pentatonic scale. It's a beautiful sounding scale. What's interesting about these scales is when you're generating sound with them, you start to get a really cool harmonic impression of what they do. Like when I discovered this scale, I found it kind of has a minor sixth chord quality to it. Maybe even something kind of similar to Dorian. Very mysterious and jazzy sounding if you want it to be. So I think you'll be surprised when this video as you kind of like build this thing. But now we have our MIDI clip, we'll add on a C note. You could change the note if you want. Give it some space though, uh, because this is gonna be a device that generates sound. And then I really like to do this with something like electric and echo, because it's kind of a neutral sound and it's got some cool kind of delay character to it. But if you don't have Ableton Suite, you can easily do this with something simple like Drift. Drift is a great synth. I'm just gonna drag and drop it in. You might just wanna change a couple things about it, like maybe take this oscillator and make it a triangle which can have like a warmer sound. Turn it down though. Turn off the sustain so we kind of can have more manageable notes when we do this generative thing. And you can see I'm turning up the decay and the release. And this will give you kind of a gentler sound uh, that's really useful for doing kind of a generative thing. You know, just kind of a neutral sound. And you can obviously adjust it how you want. But once you're at that point, we're going to start triggering sound, similar to what I did in previous videos, but with some really interesting ideas. Random is the thing in your MIDI effects menu that's going to give you those random notes. So it's kind of like the root of how we do these things. Let's turn the chance up, turn choices down, interval at 2, so 5-2, keep it random, and then we go to note echo which is similar to what an audio echo does, but it does it with your MIDI notes. And we're going to grab this and we'll grab chord. Now with these devices set up, you can now have notes echoing, creating a cascading, syncopating type effect, and the polyphonic things that the chord device gives you. Turn the scale mode on both of these things. And now all of a sudden you're set up to do some really cool stuff. And there's a really cool aspect to Ableton where basically everything that you select, whether it's an audio effect, an instrument, or a MIDI effect, like I have note echo selected, if I hit Control G or Command G, I basically now have the option to duplicate it as independent chains. So similar to like parallel processing with audio, that's a big thing with audio engineering, you can do parallel processing with MIDI. And it's really cool. Like with Note Echo, for instance, what I'll do, I'll just turn chord off here for a second. I'll have one that goes three and one that goes four. So different subdivisions. I'll just make sure to turn delay down because this thing really can bloom quite a lot. So let's turn delay down a bit and keep the feedback under control. And now you'll have this sort of syncopating, cascading effect in that really cool Kamoi scale. And I'm just going to bring my MIDI note down to C1. So it's pretty cool. You can hear all that syncopation in your ears and then we can make it polyphonic. So we can turn on chord and with scale degrees, it gets kind of complicated. If you're watching this on Patreon right now, down below is a link to a bunch of presets with this stuff. But I've talked about it in previous videos, it uses scale degrees, which is not intervals. It's not semitone values. It's scale degrees. So that can be kind of complicated. So an easy way to think of it is if you're going up an interval, like let's say an octave, think of it as one less. So seven scale degrees is an octave. You know, negative seven scale degrees is a lower octave. Now I've built presets around different types of chord constructions that you can check out in the link down below. But 
what we could do here is let's say negative seven, that's a low root. We can go plus four, that's a fifth. We can go plus two, that's a third. We can go a lower octave, that's negative 14. So that's an even lower note right there. If we go negative three, we have the lower fifth. So we're kind of inverting that power chord idea. And then negative five SD, that's gonna be a lower third. That can be a little muddy. So there's a lot going on here. We're now going from one note with syncopation to polyphony six. Um, so this might sound kind of dense. Maybe add some strum, add some tension, add some crescendo, and it'll give you a cool sound. Now the neat thing when you get to this point is that when you go back to your MIDI clip, depending on where you're triggering from, you're always going to, you know, play the notes of the C Kamoi scale. So you could just change the register of that MIDI note and see if you like where the pitches are kind of falling. So I brought things up a little bit so that I can get more of higher pitches in the sound. Now, another really cool thing is actually adding modulation to these MIDI effects. You know, if you go to modulators and LFO, You'll see a lot of people use something like that for, let's say, a filter on a synthesizer. That's a typical thing. You're adding movement. Uh, but you can also add that kind of movement to one of your MIDI devices. So if I hit map and click on, let's say, the pitch of one of those note echoes, I can have it moving around because of an LFO. If I want to see that, I'll just click on this menu here so I can see things a little better. And I'll hit remote. And now you can see that pitch is moving around. Really interesting. If I go back out, choose a different waveform, like for instance, random, it's gonna pick things differently. It can be based on the meter, the sync of the rhythm of the track, and you have this really cool thing happening. I might even do it to the other one here. So I'm changing out my pitches using an LFO. That's gonna give you even more randomness in your sound. So now let's let it play and check out what Node Echo is doing. I think I already said this, but if you're watching this on Patreon right now, you can pick up this chain and other chains down below. But basically what I'll do is I'm going to duplicate this clip, highlight everything and hit control B. So I can just bounce out this generated sequence into audio that I could resample from or just let it play as a stem in a track I might build from. It's really cool. Within seconds, you have this sort of resampled kind of thing that you've created basically from scratch. And then if you go over here, see I've got a little piano up here, um, just start kind of building melodies and ideas that are around C minor six. So in a lot of ways, you can think of like the Dorian scale. Now you can check out in the link down below, I have these different MIDI parts that are all working around C minor six or C Dorian. It tends to work really well when you're generating sound from the C Kamoi scale in scale mode. So you can download the chain separately. I've got the MIDI file separate or just the whole template as an Ableton pack file, which you can unpack in Ableton 12 and just experiment away with this idea. I really love this technique because we're building a generative harmonic sound from the generative device, and then you can build a larger arranged idea from there, which is something I think this template can really help you develop. And uh, it's just a really fun way to make music. If you're watching this on YouTube right now, I have a massive content library on Patreon. I've been there for years. MIDI packs, I've got a full vocal production course, Ableton presets, vocal presets, synthesizer presets, tons of stuff. So be sure to check that out in the link down below. I'll see you all later. Have fun making music.